Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pokemon Winter League. Now, today it is the final slash. Yeah, it's the final week. And today we are facing Ian for a rematch and the New England Pat Rats. And this is actually a playoff game. Both of our records are tied. We have the same same record. Um, I'm ahead of him by just a few points, though. But this should be a very interesting match. I'm very excited for this one. Hopefully we can make playoffs, but I'm not playing for playoffs. I'm just playing this game to have fun. But yeah, before I really get into this team prep, I just want to give a huge shout out and thanks to the people who uh, put together the PWL. Um, I met a lot of great people, a lot of new friends. Um, there's not really anyone I actually dislike in the PWL. Um, everyone is really chill. Uh, I've grown to really love the PWL. Uh, thank you to Zhingas for creating it, and uh, thank you for participating as well. And I was happy to be part of season one. But now back to this. I also got a fresh haircut too, as you can see. So hopefully, I don't know. But yeah, New England Pat Rats. They have Mega Venusaur on their squad. I know, I know what, firsthand what Mega Venusaur can do. I'm very scared of this match. Um, last time we did um, lose to them, I think 4-0. 5-0, I don't remember, but I'm looking to make a comeback. We beat all of our rematches in the in the uh, PWL. In our division matches, we, we beat all of them, even though we lost the first time, so I'm very happy about that. If we could beat Ian here, we'll make playoffs. Plus, I would have forgotten my revenge on all my division matches and won them all. But yes, yeah, so this will be a very tough one. I'm very scared, but yeah, I hope I gave him a good battle, but without further ado, I'm going to get the heck out of here. For the last time, if we don't make playoffs. Oh wait, before I actually say anything else. Um, the Pittsburgh Steelixes will actually be moving up down south. And we will be actually be called the Miami Milotic for next season. So, yeah. It was a little bit cold up in Pittsburgh, so we moved down to Florida. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this battle. Let's go Pittsburgh Steelixes! So here we are for the battle. Let me wish him good luck and have fun because, ladies and gentlemen, good sports is always nice. So let me write down his team. He has I think a Venusaur, um, Cofagrigus. He has Manectric, Cobalion, Hydreigon, and Finny. So. Pokemon I all thought were going to come. Um, Kofa, Kofa Greg is questionable, but everything else I kind of thought was going to come. But we are bringing, we're bringing Resto Chesto, Calm Mind, Bronzong. Because Bronzong actually does a lot of work to his team. We have Specs, Greninja. Nothing too different about that. Um, we have Specs, Hulisk, Scarf, Magmortar, um, AV, Torn, T, Amor. And then we have Calm Mind, Sub, Mega Latios. So, boss bleeds. Um, let me make sure my cries are on. Okay, there they are. It's so possible leads. I can see him leading with the Manetric and just Volt switching out right away. Uh, that's an option for him. Um, <laughs> I'm tempted to just lead with Healisk off the bat because Healisk can put on a lot of pressure against his team. We have Dark Pulse for um, the Cofagrigus. I just shook the camera. Um, we could leave Mega Laddie right off the bat and just start Calm Minding up. I don't think that's the smartest play. Um, he has no Rock Setters. I don't think Cobalion can get Rocks, but I can check real quick. Like, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Actually, it might. Uh, rocks. Ah, come on. It does get Stealth Rocks. Okay, so that's potential lead for him as well. I still feel like just leading with, um, uh, maybe leading with Tornti is best. We could lead with Magmortar. Um, I think I'm going to lead with Tornti Steering because Tornti Steering can put on a lot of pressure on, like, his entire team. So I think I'm going to do that. As he leads with the Cobalion, it would have been great if I led with, um, the thing. But we're here. I think he's just going to set up rocks. Um, Tornadus Therian versus 
Ternese Therian versus um, Gabalion. He waved two codes. He's probably going to get up his rocks. He can't kill me with anything. I might, I'm not going to knock off here because I don't want to give him a defiant or justified boost. Um, but I think my safest place is, or do I Hurricane here? Hurricane two goes as well. If a Heat Wave any predicts the Tapu Finny. Um, I'm going to Hurricane. He's stoned. Okay, we're really going to start this off with a crit. We're really, we're really going to start this off with a crit. On a Pokemon I needed. Okay. That's cool. That crit guaranteed matter. Without a doubt, it mattered. Hundred percent that crit mattered. That's really annoying. Cause I needed Tornadus there in. I needed Tornadus there in. That's really annoying actually. Ah oh! Alright, I didn't mean to send, I didn't mean to send in bronze on here. Alright, but I think I feel like he might be locked in. I feel like he might be Scarf. Cobalion. So. I'm tempted to just. Mm, this thing can't knock me out with anything. Do I call mine here? No, I think. No, I, think I think I flash cannon. He can't touch me. Yeah, Stone Edge, like, does nothing to me. So, uh, I feel like you might bring in Hydragon here, honestly. So, I feel like I just Flash Cannon here. Hydragon is going to be so annoying now. Of course, the Tornado Stereo was my switch into that thing. But he went ahead and critted me. Or do I call mine right off the bat? I don't think I do that. I don't think I call mine. How much does Bronzong even do to the High Dragon? Bronzong. For Liberty. High Dragon. He might be Z Move, which that's what he was last time, but we're gonna say he's a, a Life Orb attacker. For now, flash cannon. It forcos him. If I call mind, he can't knock me out. I think I flash cannon. He switches out. There we go. We see that. We get a crit on him. It's nice. Um. But now here's the question. My high dragon switching is gone because of that crit. <laughs> I feel like I have to send in Magmortar here. Magmortar. Because my switch into this thing is gone. I have to send in Magmortar. I have no other switch into this thing. Magmortar comes in. He Earth Powers. Another crit. Did that one matter?
I don't know what to do. I don't know what I can do. My dragon switching is gone, plain and simple. I think what I think... Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I go into Megalatios and predict that he is going to be Scarf. Actually, let's find out. If he's Z Move High Dragon. If he is Z Move High Dragon. Um, none. And then when we had Mike Mortar. So, if he's not life... No, we know he's not life. If he's not specs... It all depends on what his item is. Is if that crit mattered. Um, so here's the thing. If he was Z-Move High Dragon, then the Earth Power mattered on Magmortar. But if he is, but if he was like a spec set, it obviously didn't matter. I think, I think I have to send in Megalatios. I, I don't know what to do here. I really don't know what to do. I think I just have to go YOLO and predict that he's going to be choiced. I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to lose. I'm going to sub. So we can pretty much assume that this thing is Scarf. Or Choice for that matter. I'm gonna psychic and get as much damage on this thing as possible. That does a lot. He nature's madness. That's fine. And now I can send a liberty. He nature's madness again. Smart playing his part. Best thing he could do. Um, I think I have to predict. No, I can't predict it. I have to click flash cannon. You have to click click flash cannon. He brings in this thing. Okay. I'm gonna call mine. I'm gonna call mine. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. He knocks off. He's gonna knock off my Chesterberry. If I'm playing sloppy, I don't care about this game anymore. Those two crits pissed me off, so I could care less about this game now. So. Oh well. I'm gonna rest up. That kills me. Like I said, I could care less. I'm gonna call mine. We lost this. There's nothing I could do. Those two crits pissed me off so much. So I'm not gonna care enough to play. Psychic. Nearly kills him. That's not gonna kill us. You have to be kidding me.
I'm done with this game. This is such poor shit. I need to wake up like right now. No. I'm done with this game. I'm gonna predict Feeny. <laughs> Click Dark Balls again. Nothing I can do. Easy move. So that crit on Magmortar mattered. Alright, Jitsu. It's all on you, big guy. It's all on you. CG. Okay, so it's been like a few days or probably like two or one days after the battle and I just want to say that before you guys go scream at you in the comment section, hope you guys are watching this, um, don't, don't, don't scream at him or yell at him, it wasn't his fault at all, um, it's just the game, hacks happens in the game and unfortunately it happened at a very important battle, um, especially a playoff game and it happened like in the worst amount of of like, I don't know what I'm saying. Like it was, it was like very bad hacks that really costed me the game. And I did calc some things afterward. The crit on Tornado Styrian and Magmortar both mattered, and that freeze on Mega Latios mattered a lot. And I kind of needed Tornado Styrian for that win. I think when I lost Tornado Styrian, I think I just lost the game in general. But <clears throat> just want to come on here and say that um, just don't. Don't scream at Ian in the comment section. There's literally no point to do that. Um, I know some people still probably won't listen to me, but for those of you who listen to me, thank you. And I just want to say a, a little thank you to Gajingus and the entire uh, people who put together the PWL. It's a great league, and I do think that there will be a season two. I'm pretty positive there will be. There's been a lot of dates thrown around, whether it'll be in like December or like April. Not sure yet, but I will be attending season two as well. And I will be uh, using a new team called the Miami Milotic. So yeah, I hope that'll be pretty cool, Duke. Jesus. <laughs> so I hope that'll be pretty dope slash cool, whatever you want to say. But yeah, PWL is not over for me, unfortunately. I'll be watching the playoffs and the finals. Sorry if you guys can hear that. <laughs> but yeah, without further ado, picks for Celixes are no more.